visionary, Lana Del Rey. <laughs> so what does this award and being considered a visionary mean to you? It's funny because I, I think I got the Trailblazer Award <laughs> maybe can seven confirm. years ago, can confirm. <laughs> Um, it's just nice, honestly, to still be in the game of something that you like. And I think a part of being a visionary is, is also just making sure you know what you like, you know, so that even if it's like if you love singing today but you want to do something tomorrow, you have to be in touch with, like, what makes you happy. So I think it, like, it's not as broad as, like, a big theatrical, you know, concept. It's more like day-to-day -day life, like, are you living your happiness. Yeah, and I feel like we see that a lot with your albums because it feels like it very much captures a moment of time in your life. Where do you build, where do you get the inspiration to build these worlds around your albums? Boyfriends! <laughs> <laughs> Women in music. <laughs> well, I love it. I mean, and then this one though, for a tunnel, did you hear that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Yeah. You have said that family is a big theme for this one. And family. And yeah, family. How, why was now the time to let fans in on such a personal aspect of your life? I think I got so lucky to be able, you know, in terms of like the Visionary Award to sort of, once you work out all of those family concepts, like, and all of the things that are passed down from your family lineage, it's funny, like, I think I've finally worked it all out through the writing, and I'm, I'm just like excited now to see what I write about now that everyone's fine that I've called them out. <laughs> So obviously, as you mentioned, you are not a newcomer to this event. What do you love about attending an event like Women in Music and just being around a bunch of amazing, badass women? I'm in super good company now. I really, I'm really so excited for where music is at. I don't feel like I really, I mean like Madison Beer, Olivia Rodrigo, I mean Billie Eilish is my love. Like I just feel like such a lovely, like, I don't know, like these are my people. It's so interesting to like, be in a room of people where you can actually, for the first time for me, wave to everybody and just be like, oh, I, I feel like in a way, all the little sounds I wanted to like hear on the radio, they've like caught up to this moment. And every day I hear the radio and I'm like, I love that. Yeah. So, and you inspired kind of a lot of that. I was about to say. <laughs> some, some of it, you really never know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different... It is a different era, I'll tell you that. And I and I like the era that we're in. I think it's been a very tough 12 years in like entertainment culture. I really like where we've landed. I've landed. Personally. Vulnerable, open, yeah. welcoming, if anything. Now. Yeah. Yeah, and something that, have you had an interaction with some of these artists that have inspired you? Madison Beer, Billie Eilish, Charlie XCX that has stood out to you? Yeah, I ran into Madison Beer at a coffee shop, and I was like, I don't want to bother you, but I, I love you. And then with Billy, I mean, talk about a, a woman who's, like, cooked good all the way through. Like, not only the way she sings, her vocal inflections, you can't even copy it, yeah. but, like, as a person, she's just... Every now and then you meet someone who's just a good person, and it's not like that's a requirement. In fact, usually it's the opposite, mm -hmm. to be a good artist. But she just happens to be both. Yeah. So the fact that like when we did Interview Magazine and she interviewed me, and she just talked about how like her first uh, phone screen picture it's was my favorite of me detail. with the beat. <laughs> I mean, you, picture me in my bedroom freaking out. Because she's like my living legend. Oh like, my I love that. So legend. it's fun to have like a little camaraderie there. Do you think you two would work together? Oh, I'm. I feel like I'm sure at some point we will. Yeah, I mean, definitely. At this <laughs> like point if it has we to make it, we'll get there. <laughs> no, at this point it has to happen. Yeah, I think so. And then looking forward now, with your album coming out soon, who is Lana right now? Who is the Lana you're ready to introduce? <laughs> Ooh, I don't think she knows. <laughs> I like that too. I don't know. Should we ever know? That's the yeah. Thing. I think. I think, you know, what's so cool is my best friends are here, the girl who choreographs and is my dearest friend, the shows, and then my best friend forever, Jen Stiff. And it's like, to be able to kind of be at such a big event, but literally feel like you're at the prom with your girlfriends, <laughs> yeah. to get to that point is, I mean, 
that's such an awesome accomplishment. So, but I do think like at each album you land at different places. Yeah, like right. you are. It's what I was getting at is it's nice to be with people or with partners who let you grow, even if it means you're changing a lot, as long as it's hopefully for the better. <laughs> That's Absolutely. so special. Well, thank you so much, Lana. Congratulations. Such a well-deserved award. Have so much fun in there. Have fun. Yes. Thank you so much.